Hello folks and welcome back to part 4 of our 24 hour British Russian pack review unboxing and cooking menu number 15 so I'm double tap so I think we should start with getting our water back on the boil <coughs> so let's light our gas that was a bit dodgy Turn it down a bit. Is our gas running out? I'm not sure. Okay, we'll put it on. It generally only does that when the gas is running a bit low. So I know that the video will pick up that sound but there isn't much I can do about it at this point bit of back pressure but like I say it's generally when the gas is running out so I'm not quite sure to be honest I'm, uh, I might actually try and regulate that a touch more Okay, that's a bit better. So, I think, as with the other ones, I'm going to try and centre the food mass in the bag. So, it'll fit better in our pot. I'm going to go around the other way. Got more room there. Plenty of water in there that's over a litre. So I'll give you a little look at what that looks like. And don't worry, I didn't burn my hand or nothing. It's just a bit of back pressure, which I'm not that bothered about. Didn't burn me. Right then. Okay. So what else have we got for this meal? We have a Mariani beef jerky, barbecue flavour, great tasting stack made from premium grass fed beef, 25 grams serving of beef jerky, so good for protein, decent fat content, salt and your energy is 3.9% per 78 calories. It's a 50 gram packet and it's good until August 2016. We have our boiled sweets. We have our cheese oat biscuits made for, made for Beyond the Beaten Track. And if you watched video one, we went through most of all the nutritional information things like that we covered everything in that video we have our nuts cocktail we have a chocolate flavoured drink mint type cocoa based beverage powder with mint flavour to prepare a hot chocolate drink for 500 milliliters so okay and there's some nutritional information on the back and we also have a squidgy hazelnut spread with cocoa this is beyond the beaten track again comes in like a toothpaste type of container so I think we'll probably have a bit of that on our biscuits we have our drinks package here consisting of a cup of tea some creamer two sugars Kinko Smooth and some V6 Dental Gum. So what I suggest we do is I'm going to move this lot a bit out of the way, get my cups a bit closer and my mugs and that. So 
we can make a few drinks and have a look at these other items while our soup is cooking. So I'll be back in a second. Right and we are back so let's get our drinks started. I think we will start with the tea and that one opened a lot better than the first one that we did for our breakfast menu. We'll put our tea bag in there. I have actually, if you see this glass, I put a bit of sugar in there because, and I've put a bit in there because the little sachets that come with it, there isn't that much uh, sugar in them, I don't think. I don't think there's one serving anyway. I'm going to add a bit of milk to this because the creamer is absolutely horrible. And I think it's destroying the drinks more than it's helping them. I understand that if you were in the field or out camping, you wouldn't have much choice, but I have because I'm sat in my conservatory doing the video, so I'm uh, just going to go with that, I think, because the creamer is not nice. Right, Kenko Smooth. Any information? Kenko Coffee Company. Freeze-dried instant coffee. Okay. Easy to peel off yet again. Got some little granules in there. Okay, let's add some hot water. to both of our cups. Give them a little stir. Get them flavours mixing. Lovely. I think we'll leave our tea for a bit longer because I have well overdone it with the milk as you can see. So we'll let that brew for a short while. In the meantime I'm going to give this coffee a try. Now as you know, I'm not that much of a fan of coffee, but I'm willing to give most things a try. There are certain things I won't eat or drink under any circumstances, but for the purposes of the video, I'll give the coffee a go and give it my honest opinion. So, this is what it looks like. Looks all right and we'll give it a trust. Mmm, that is really nice. In, in all uh, honesty, it's better than the first Nescafe one I had. It's more milder, more smoother. But after all, it is called Kenko Smooth. Yeah, that was alright, that was. It, is, it wasn't as bitter as the Nescafe, that's for sure and I did put quite a bit of milk in so I suppose that has toned the flavour down and you know just a little touch but yeah that was alright that was I'll give it another go I think mmm yeah lovely very nice okay let's have a look what our tea is doing okay it's a uh, a little bit darker, not loads, but I ain't that buffered. Get rid of our <clears throat> tea bag and spoon. I did stir it, didn't I? Let me just give it another stir. Make sure the sugar is dissolved underneath it. Okay, so let's have a look. And that's what our tea looks like. You can see it a bit better. Give it a taste. Oh yeah, that's lovely that is. The coffee was nice, you know, weren't, weren't bad. But uh, if I've got a choice, I'll, I'll take a cup of tea. I love a good brew. And the tea bags are a hell of a lot better than um, the ones that we were getting in the ration packs years ago. I mean, if you 
take this size as an example. You've all seen how big that tea bag was. The tea bags in the old ration packs were about that big, square. They were absolutely massive. You only had one of them and one of them was enough because they were absolutely huge. It was to make like a big bowl of tea basically but there was that much there. There was no way you could drink the lot all in one go. Right, I am going to get our drinks out of the way I think. I'm just going to put them over here. And I'm going to have an, another bit of my copper. Mmm. Lovely. That is lovely. So, what have we got here? We have got our barbecue, Mariani beef jerky, and I absolutely love this stuff. There was different lads that I served with that used to get whole joints of meat sent to them by the families. Uh, which one do we want it in? I think we'll put it in this one because we ain't used that one. And it was all cured meats, beef, beef jerky type, and they were absolutely beautiful. The meat was so tender. I love the stuff. There were people who had it sent that it was made from bear, things like that, which in their countries are legal to hunt, etc. But there were some absolutely fantastic things sent to them, which we all got to try because we all used to swap our things and give the lads a bit of what you've got and they'll reciprocate and you'll get a bit back. But anyway, we've got our Do Not Eat little satchel there obviously never eat these these are just for taking moisture out of the packaging let's have a look at our beef jerky it feels supple it's got a dark brown red tint to it let's have a look at another piece it's probably all come from one slab of meat and they've cut it up into little sections, barbecue flavour loads of protein in there so let's give it a try very nice it's lovely and tender that is the flavours are spectacular sorry I'm just eating it at the moment <laughs> I could pause the video but I don't really see any point in doing that. Yeah, it's nice. It has a lovely rich smoky barbecue flavour which isn't overpowering like some that I've tried in the past. It's nice and tender. It's really good that is. I like that. That's a good one. And that's the Mariano beef jerker nice I'll look out for that again so let's have a look we have our nuts cocktail cocktail de fruit sex love a bit of sex in a can can't go wrong with that let's open it up okay so first off we can see a lot of peanuts there are some almonds, some Brazil nuts. Let's get it out and have a look. Okay. That's the inside of the tin. For anyone who's interested. And as you can see, there are a lot of peanuts. We've got an almond there. I think this is a misshapen cashew nut. Another almond, it's, I'd say that's at least 80% peanuts, at least. So, try one of the little salted nuts. Beautiful, lovely and fresh. 
that one don't look too appetising but I'm going to eat it anyway oh it's not a nut it's some sort of little cracker type thing it's got um, a biscuit type of taste to it got our cashew nuts lovely and fresh and I think is that another biscuit thing? no it's a salted peanut they're nice they are that's is this a haze or not? let's try that yes it is they are nice very nice they are very fresh <clears throat> looks like a decent amount but there is a lot of salted peanuts in that I'm not really a fan of salt I'm gonna have some more of my tea yeah I'm not really a fan of salt but the uh, salt in them it, it, it isn't overpowering it's more of a low salt or a light salt if you get what I mean so it's a lovely day here you've probably just heard the ice cream man so you might hear those throughout the video because we generally get a few of those if the weather's nice okay so we've got our cheese oat biscuits best before March 2017 2017 bit of nutritional information it, it's a pity really because I did look on the box and at the menu packaging leaflet that was in the box and there isn't an overall calorie content or a fat con there isn't any, any information like that you would have to work it out individually from each packet so I was a bit disappointed with that let's get these open easy to open tin foil type wrapping that's what they look like inside give those a smell and there's not much going on in there apart from a very faint smell of cheese they're a little bit broken so I'll try and get them out intact as best as I can like I say it's, everything seems to be coming with this aluminum foil aluminium type foil inside which is all part of the freshness packaging and those are the biscuits get an intact well semi intact one for you have we got a better one no we haven't because that one's got a split in it as well and that's what they look like I think the little things in them they're a whole wheat type biscuit I think the little flecks are whole wheat and the bits of cheese I may be wrong there so let's break it where it was cracking and that's what it looks like inside so I think we'll give it the taste test mmm yeah it's very thick and stodgy all, all you can taste is wheat <clears throat> with a very very faint hint of cheese they are extremely stodgy and chewy to you know what when you're chewing them very chewy um, not not uh, all that good to be quite honest with you um, I'll, just, I'll give another one a try so if this is any better No, it's 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 no better. It's the type of food where you're having to fight with it to chew it. 
it's uh, no, I, I, I don't rate them at all. There isn't much flavour apart from wheat with oats. The cheese is so mild it's hardly worth mentioning. I, uh, I think so far, apart from that peach apple thing that I had for the breakfast, uh, I think they're even worse than that. Bo both of them are not good. Don't like them much. I'm uh, going to have a bit of the two. <clears throat> so let's help get rid of that flavour. So we've moved on, we've got our hazelnut spread with cocoa. Um, I think it's like a Nutella type of thing. I've never had this before. Uh, I don't buy Nutella, that's those things. I never have done. So let's get it open. Have a little sealy top. And there it is. I think the best thing we can do is get some of this out. If it'll come out. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, quite liquidy. And uh, <laughs> makes a nice little noise when it's coming out of there. I think uh, we're going to give that a little try with a bit of cracker. May live in the cracker up a touch. And to be honest, it, it's the crack. The crackers are better with a bit of this Nutella. I'm not a big chocolate fan, and I'm definitely not a hazelnut Nutella purchaser. But those two together are passable. You, you can eat the crackers a lot easier with a bit of that Nutella. So, I'm going to have a bit more. Looks okay. The crackers look better than uh, what they actually taste like. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Moving on. We have our lemon flavours, fruit, fruit flavoured bald sweets, and I think those were made in Poland, were they? Uh, yes, produce of Poland for Vesti Foods Limited. So let's get one of these out, see what they're like. Individually wrapped. As you can see, these would be good for putting in your jacket pocket while you were walking and having something to have a little munch on while you go. Nice yellow colour, quite sticky in the packet. That's what they look like. Let's try it. And it is a hard boiled sweet, um, you can taste it straight away, the lemon flavour that is, no doubt about it. Mm. It, uh, it is quite sticky like I said, nicer, I think overall so far the peanuts are nice, the biscuits are okay with the Nutella. But my favourite so far is the beef jerky, without a doubt, but I'm a fan of beef jerky anyway, so. That leaves us the mint type hot chocolate flavoured drink. But I think I'm going to do that after the meal. Or I might not, I don't know. Let's 
speaking of the meal, let's have a look at our uh, <coughs> chicken and veg soup is doing. Get in a couple of little air bubbles there. So I reckon that's going to be at least another five minutes. So what I'm going to do is pause the video and I'll be back in a second. Right then, I'm back. The food is almost cooked, so I thought while we're waiting, we'll get the chocolate flavoured mint drink done. Um, just having a look at the ingredients. Now it does say 500 millilitres of hot water and stir. So that's about half a pint, which is the same size of this glass if we halved it. So I think I'm going to half the contents which is roughly there. I'm going to put in our beaten track sugars, make it a bit more sweeter. Here we go. Add some hot water. Like I said in the last video, you would actually use the water that you cook the food in because there's nothing wrong with it and that's what people do in the field of get a spoon back again it's a bit discoloured from the chili con carne yesterday but it's been through the dishwasher on a full cycle so it is clean shouldn't really be stirring it with a plastic spoon but I think it'll hold up because it is quite thick and we'll get in the corners of the glass but it's nicely rounded so nothing should really stick in there clean our spoon off and that is our mint chocolate drink just show you what that looks like looks alright give it a taste Whoa, that is nice, that is really nice, it's got a hell of a lot of mint flavour and chocolate and that is a great drink, I really enjoyed that, that is nice, the flavours are really good they just hit you straight away with the flavour in that I'm uh, gonna have a bit more I think mmm <laughs> that is lovely I do like that I'm going to put it to one side for a second put it up there in a trusty frying pan <laughs> because I think we're ready to take our food off the boil. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's that's done. It's been in long enough. So we'll turn that off. while the crazed dog next door is barking oh. once again the packaging is really hot get our bits of excess water droplets off it Turn it the right way up. The packaging is very hot. Going to well out. Put that there. We'll get our camera. 
back where the action is. I'm going to put this hot water outside again on the patio. Just so as it's out of the way. Right then, let's have a look at this. I'm going to hire this camera up a bit. Should give you a better bird's eye view of what we're actually doing. So we've got the chunky chicken and vegetable soup. You've got your little rip tags here, either side. You can see those. So ow. we'll be careful and get this open because the packaging is really hot. So the contents are going to be roasting. I'm going to try and opening up for you so you can get a better look okay and that is what our contents look like I'm gonna give it a bit of a stir I think and it is piping hot there we go that is our contents. So let's get it out onto our serving tray. Make sure everything's out. It's pretty much all come out in one go. Aluminium type foil inside again for freshness. Get rid of the packaging, like so. And let's have a look at this chunky chicken soup. So straight off the bat you can see that there's carrots, the pieces of chicken in it are a decent size. They're not massive but you can certainly see that they're standing out. There's little bits of potato, looks like peas and leek in there. It's got a nice consistency, it's not too runny. It's not too thick as you can see. Let's get a bit of the chicken in there I think. And that's what it looks like. I'm just trying to keep it over the tray. So I'm going to get rid of a little bit of it. And let's give it the taste test. Mmm, that is beautiful. The vegetables are lovely and chunky, they've kept the form, they're nice, thick, they're not too soggy. The chicken tastes really fresh but I do believe it's pre-cooked chicken anyway. The sauce for it, for the actual soup, is really nice. It's a great all-round flavour combination. It's lovely that sauce is. It is really nice. This would be great if you was out and it was a cold evening, especially with the mint chocolate drink as well. It's uh, an absolutely lovely combination, that is. Beautiful. That is really nice. So, we're coming to the end near enough of our 24 hour British menu number 15 ration pack. Overall, it's been a re really good all, all over 24 hour meal. There's certainly plenty to eat. I would have preferred to have seen um, some things like at least two to four small size pieces of bread, vacuum packed of course. That would have been good. There's no condiments in it, i.e. salt and pepper, if you wanted to add any of those. So that would be a good idea. It would also be a good idea for at least another tea bag, another coffee, more sugar, more creamer. 
that sort of thing. But overall, it's been good. The drinks packages are good. I've still got the lemon and raspberry drink that we didn't get round to using. I don't think I would uh, eat them <clears throat> as an eve uh, sorry, drink them as an evening type meal anyway, because this is overall good. The bad things I didn't really like were the biscuits I wasn't a fan of and that peach smoothie fruit thing, whatever it was at the start. Didn't rub much like that. I've had uh, some ex-colleagues of mine who um, live abroad have contacted me to do more meals from their native countries things like that so I think I should be doing some more sometime soon and there should be new videos going up on a regular basis but overall I've enjoyed that it's been good the ration pack had a good expiration date on it there was plenty of time left I do understand that the British Army have introduced lots more different meal combinations because that was one of the downsides to the British Army ration packs that you know there was no real variety there and the boys and girls who were out and about were getting a bit peed off with eating the same stuff for weeks and months at a time which is very understandable it isn't like you can pop out to the supermarket or anything when you're on operations but this one has been good Hopefully we'll uh, be able to get our hands on some other different types and do a few more reviews. So if you found it interesting and like the video, please like, comment and subscribe. I'm Double Tap and bye for now.